I saw you, you were telling me about KixCon. How did that go for North Park? Uh, it was incredible. Uh, we had lots and lots of people. We did, uh, we had 19,000 people at North Park that day, which is incredible. We've had tons of people tell us how much fun they had at the event. So really thankful for everyone that came out and supported, and we're definitely bringing KixCon back again for 2025. All right, so now you're telling folks, listen, this is the time for you to get to North Park if you haven't been all year long because you're celebrating yes. 40 years. Yes, so this Thursday starts our kind of birthday bash weekend. On Thursday is the actual 40th anniversary of the first day North Park opened its doors. And so for 40 years, North Park has been welcoming our community, hosting events, being kind of that hub of fashion and hub of just being that place where our community can come together. And so we are celebrating that with a three-day event because, uh, you know, one day just isn't enough. Mm -mm. And so it starts on Thursday morning at 1030 in the morning. We're starting early. And on Thursday, we are unveiling our historical marker, which was given to us by the city of Ridgeland. And we're having a ribbon tying event. So we are having some people from North Park's history come and speak. And then a ribbon tying, if you're not aware, is a process of everyone gets to tie a red ribbon to our historical marker and we tie the future to the past. Okay. And we are tying this new marker to the building. So. Instead of a ribbon cutting, it's a ribbon tying. And then we'll have a short reception afterwards with some snacks and then uh, have a unveiling of a small historical exhibit with some old photos and materials from North Park's past. And that is on Thursday at 10.30 in the morning. And on Friday, we are having the Gay for Girls. So if you're familiar with the Gay for Girls, it was kind of like influencers before influencers were a thing. Okay. Before social media, they were local high schoolers that got to work at Gayfer's department store and they put on fashion shows they helped uh, style customers, things like that. Well, we are having a Gay for Girls reunion from 5 to 7 okay. and on Friday night. So we are bringing the Gay for Girls back together to enjoy each other. This is really the first time we've done a major reunion. And from what I've heard from the Gay for Girls, it's really the first time they've had a major reunion in their history. They started back in the 70s. So we have some Gay for Girls coming that were Gay for Girls in the 70s hmm. that are coming together and celebrating. Uh, and that's just for Gay for Girls. But on Saturday okay. is everybody. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know, I'm still going. That's what I'm saying. Can we pull up the screen while she's talking about all of Because it's literally a million events going on. So <laughs> on Saturday is Decades Day, and we are bringing back uh, the GG Saturday Fashion Show. So part of Gay for Girls was they had to put on, each Gay for Girl had to put on a fashion show every year. And so part of that is we're bringing these gay for girls back and this is presented by Dillard's we have a group of local high school girls that'll be doing a fashion show they'll be mixed in with the gay for girls doing looks for homecoming mm -hmm. and then our GGs will be walking the runway for the first time since they were gay for girls in high school and so they are going to be wearing outfits from Dillard's but it's themed through the decades so a lot of the styles right now are actually throwback styles so we lucked out there for our 40th <laughs> so they'll be looking uh, they'll be having current styles but they're themed around the 80s, 90s, and now. And so that'll be a mix of gay for girls, walking, and local high school students. So it's kind of the past and the future of North Park coming together and walking in a fantastic show. That show is at 2 o'clock. It is completely free. Uh, all of these events are completely free. and. There will be other events. The event actually starts at 1, and we'll have a scavenger hunt, spin to win, gift with purchase. And with the scavenger hunt, anyone that completes the scavenger hunt, you do get entered in to win a $2,000 shopping spree from North Park okay. as a thank you for coming out. So it's just tons of events. Like, it's, I see. It's a lot. You always have a lot going on, and I love that for us. I love that for North Park. But we talk about going into the future, tying into the future. I got to know what's coming soon. What's new? What's Ooh, opening? What so just this past Saturday, I know everyone was uh, excited to see we have a brand new local food operating uh, opening up at the eatery now. So it is Las Nathalie Pupuseria just opened. So that is authentic Ecuadorian Las Nathalie Pupuseria. Um, <laughs> they are, it's tacos, burria, it is delicious. And sometimes she would, during their construction phase, they would like bring us snacks. And I was mm -hmm. like, you can bring me snacks all you want. <laughs> uh, so we just had them open. We have another store, Sabaro is coming this year. Then we have several other new tenants opening. So far we've had seven new stores open this year as part of our 40th. Most of them are local. Mm -hmm. So we are really trying to bastion up that local entrepreneurship community. We have 
I think we're almost 50% occupied by local tenants. So if you're looking to support local entrepreneurs, these Jackson metro area businesses, surprisingly enough, come to the mall. You've got plenty of local businesses, but we've got the Selfie Content Lab just opened a few weeks ago. Elegance Boutique opened just a few weeks ago. Chic and Sassy Kids just opened. I think two weeks ago, and then Les Nathalie just opened, and then we have Sabaro for today uh, for the next couple of weeks, mm -hmm. and then right now I can't share any of the newer ones, but okay, we still well, have things stuff. coming. More so, things on the way. More things on the way. It's a big year for North Park. I see. Forty years, you may as well do a big. Why right. not? Why not? Why not? All right. So, any extra website you want to send the folks to, or North Park? Visit NorthPark.com is going to be the best one. Oh, we are also looking for historical items. So, if you have any items from North Park's past and want to let us borrow that for our historical exhibit that opens on Thursday, feel free to swing by the center and drop that off to our office or you can send me an email info at visitnorthpark.com and let me know what you have because I would love to include everyone's items. This has been this is a momentous occasion and we've been, you know, several years in the making of celebrating this with our community. Now